Hey folks, DJ from the Rabbit School Garage, and uh, we got a new project to work on. It is a 2008 Toyota Tundra. Um, it's the 5.7 liter four wheel drive, and it was my dad's truck. And after he passed away, my nephew was driving it for a while, and uh, now it's starting to smoke uh, with white smoke really bad, and uh, it has no power. And when I say no power, I mean literally no power. It cannot get out of its own way in every literal sense of that phrase. So. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to go down and take a look at it real quick and just do a quick summary of what it might need, and uh, we'll work from there. But um, if you could, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to see you know the rest of the, the future videos for this thing. And uh, stick with me. Let's get going. Well, here it is. 2008 Toyota Tundra four-wheel drive. Um, it was my dad's truck. Got a lot of issues going on with it. Um, the hood doesn't want to pop open. Uh, but the biggest issue is it's blowing a lot of white smoke. And uh, it has no power whatsoever. So I'm thinking probably blown head gasket. Um, it's got a lot of things wrong with it. You know, it's not in perfect shape. I think that might be the tailpipe for it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that tailpipe's for. Does it have one on it? Yep, it's for the it's for this. I don't know if you can see, but there's the end of it right there. So yeah, it's got a few issues. Um, what I'm about to do is basically let's just start it up. Um, it hasn't been started in a while, so I've got to jump it. See if my jump box will be able to jump this big V8. Let me sit you over here. All right, here's the negative. Here's the positive. Right. Turn it on and let's try to jump it. Now we're gonna have to let it sit a minute. So let's uh, just leave it connected for a little bit. All right, I got it started. Can you hear that? That's a rod knocking or something. All right, well, you all heard that. It didn't sound very good. <laughs> so uh, let's um, just pop the the gas or the uh, oil cap and see what it looks like. Where's my oil cap right there? Jeez, that thing's on there. Ugh, I can't even get it off. All right, I found the uh, pair of pliers or vice grips. See if we can't get that off of there. My goodness, it's on there tight. There we go. All right, let's see what it looks like. Well, it doesn't look like it's got any uh, water in it or anything. So let's find the dipstick and see, check it. I don't know why that was on there so tight. Jeez. Um. Here it is over here. Uh, has little to no oil in it. <laughs> okay, that could be an issue. Um, I saw, an, oops, I saw a bottle of oil in here. Let me just grab it and put it in. All right, let's get some oil in it. That's one problem. That might quite down the lifters. I'm pouring the whole thing in because it was barely even registering on the dipstick. So. All right. back on
check the dipstick again. Give it a minute to settle down in there. Actually, let's crank it over for a second. Sounds a lot better. Now that it has some oil in it, <laughs> it sounds a lot better. Still having the issue though. Um, still blowing white smoke, I think. Yeah. Still blowing white smoke pretty good. Uh, white smoke usually means uh, moisture or it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like antifreeze. It just smells like smoke. So that, that's mostly moisture then. Um, but you can see the, the smoke coming off, but I don't know if you can or not. Let me go this way. Oh, well here you can definitely see it. Yeah, so, yep. Um, at least it sounds better now with some oil on it. See the smoke? Now we're going to do is uh, turn it off. We're going to turn it off and um, check the oil again, and also check the antifreeze. See if the antifreeze has any oil in it. All right, still not registering any oil, um, so it must be real low. It means it's got an oil leak somewhere, probably. So let's, um, we'll have to look at that. Let's uh, go ahead and pop the radiator cap and just see what it looks like. Looks like it doesn't have any water in it either. Wow, no water and no oil, okay. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can, <sighs> literally bone dry. I don't know if you can see it down in there, but bone dry. I'm gonna have to get some antifreeze for it. Um, I have some at the house, so I'll put some in. Uh, power steering fluid is low. Got plenty of washer fluid. Win uh, windshield washer fluid. Um, brake. Brake fluid is, uh, it's on the low side, but it's still above the minimum, so not too bad. Um, and this, <laughs> this is funny because my dad put this on because the, he had problems where sometimes the computer would just um, freak out on him and the, the truck wouldn't start at all. So he put this in to reset the computer. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it still has that problem or not, but yeah, that's what that's for. Um, all right, so we definitely need oil. We definitely need antifreeze. Um, but like I said, we're blowing white smoke, so that could mean a couple things. It could mean a blown head gasket, it could mean a cracked head, it could even mean a cracked block. Um, especially since there's an oil leak like it is, it could very well be a crack, cracked block. Let's look underneath and see if we can see anything. That looks like a big oil stain right there. So, um, I can't get under this too low. But yeah, it looks like a big oil stain, so we'll um, have to get this apart, get it up to the house, and uh, right now it's down the bottom of the field. We'll have to get it up to the house and uh, jack it up and kind of get a better look at it. But right now, I don't, I'm not seeing anything on the dipstick, I'm not seeing anything in the, in the uh, antifreeze, but that's because there's no water in it, and there's no oil in it. So yeah, we're going to have to put those two things in, and then we'll, um, we'll start over. So, I'll get back to you. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, antifreeze in it. Um, looks like it's completely empty, so I've got about a gallon and a half here. That should be enough to help it a little bit. Um, let's see. Alright, that's filled up. 
shake the truck a little bit see if it goes down uh, all right now we're going to pull up the uh, overflow to where it needs to be and maybe even a little more because it's probably got to go down into the block and everything so i'll just fill it up completely there we go all right let's uh start it up again see what it does See if it's sucked Well, we're gonna have to wait until it's warm at you know idle temps before or at uh make sure it's warm before we can make sure the antifreeze is good. But that just starting it up like that should do pretty good. Alright, now let's put some more oil in it because it's still not even reading on the dipstick. And I'm just using whatever I had, which in this case is 10W30. Um because it's going to get a full oil change anyway, depending on what I need to do. Probably hasn't had one in a while, so. Let's see what that did. Oh, here we go. Check the dipstick. Still not reading on the dipstick. Let's uh, start it up and let it run for a second, see if that helps. Still getting a ton of smoke. Look at this. Yeah. And it didn't idle very long at all. So um, I just wanted to try to get some oil down in there so that I could uh, check it again, see if it made a difference. And no, still no read on the dipstick. Man. been bone dry this is what I've used so far about three two and a half quarts that's all of that I used it all <laughs> I put about almost five quarts in there so let's uh, see where we're at this time we're going to let it idle a little longer. Okay, so we're going to let it idle a little longer this time and um, see if we can't get it, you know, how quickly it gets up to operating temperature and uh, you, you can see it's still smoking pretty good um, I'll tell you honestly it just seems like a head gasket to me um, but as you saw there was no water in the oil and no oil in the water so what it could be is um, one of the one of the passages right where the um, the spark plug is you know up in the top of the cylinder so well that's what we'll probably end up doing is pulling all the spark plugs and seeing if there's any water in any of the uh, head head uh, you know what I'm talking about I can't think of the word damn it <laughs> yeah anyway we'll pull the plugs and see if they're got any of them have a uh, antifreeze or water in them but um, you can hear it it's idling pretty good now so but yeah, still lots of smoke. And we'll let it idle a few minutes and uh, it looks like it's just taking up some water now. So you can see there's little bubbles coming up in. It means it's sucking in some water. But we need to wait until that uh, thermostat 
opens up. So let's uh, see what the temperature's at. Oh, and by the way, this has 151,000 miles on it. Um, you can see there, 151, 447. So looks like our oil pressure is good now. Uh, battery's good. The uh, temperature gauge is not even moving yet. Got a full tank of gas. That's good. <laughs> uh, oh wait, this has two temperature gauges. Oh, that's for the transmission. So there's a temp gauge for the transmission. That's a, the temp gauge for the engine. Oh, horn works. And as you can see, lots of lights blinking. Four low. It's not in four low. It's in four high. Why is four low blinking? Oh, probably is. It needs transmission fluid too, by the way. Um, it got drained by accident. So I'm gonna, before I move it. Uh, well, I mean, I can move it the way it is, but uh, right now I just want that to get up to temperature so I can see if it's got enough antifreeze in it or not. And uh, we'll try to drive it up to the house, see what happens. So I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, see, just listening to it, it sounds like the motor's off, something's missing. Um, almost like it's, I don't know, missing a cylinder or something. We got a misfire on a cylinder. You hear it's going, bup, 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 bup. usually it's pretty smooth. And not only that, you can see the engine shaking a lot. It doesn't normally do that. So, yeah. But it looks like the antifreeze is uh, slowly being uh, sucked into the engine. Let's check the temperature now and see if the thermostat opened up yet. Not quite, it's right here. Not quite, so we'll let it idle a little more. Okay, we're um, we're gonna put this bad boy in four low. It's beeping when I do that. And we're gonna tr see if we can get it to move. It's thinking about it. No. It doesn't want to move. Okay. Um, yeah. We're going to have to tow it. We're going to tow it up to the house. We're not going to mess with it anymore. I don't want to break anything. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's, we'll call it there. And uh, next video on it will be probably me checking everything out just to find see if we can't pull some park pull some spark plugs so yeah well there it is we've uh looked at it we put some oil in it we put some antifreeze in it um still doing the the massive white smoke uh, my guess is that it's got a blown head gasket and hopefully not a cracked head or cracked block could be one of those two also um but the next step is to get it up here to the house and uh, start taking it apart and um, we'll start with the spark plugs first pull one out you know pull pull each and every one of them out and see if uh, they're any wet like they have any antifreeze on them that'll tell us a lot um, yeah and then we'll start playing with it from there so if you uh, like this video and want to see more of this project click that like button and uh, the little red subscribe down there if it's red and says subscribe that means you're not subscribed why not click it <laughs> all right I'll catch you on the next